Okay, this will be a tutorial on how to find Creative Commons license pictures on Flickr. You don't need a Flickr account to do this, you just need to go to the Flickr site, which is at www.flickr.com. Once you get there, there'll be the search box over to the right. For our purposes, we're going to look at water falls. We get some lovely pictures of waterfalls, but what we don't know from first glance is whether these are copyrighted or if they have Creative Commons licenses, whether they have the restrictions that would keep us from using the pictures. So we have a couple of options here. We can go to license and we can see that we can use any license, which means it might have Creative Commons or it might be copyrighted. Or we're looking for Creative Commons only. We can say we need to be able to use it for commercial purposes or be able to modify it. But for our purposes, I actually want to use the advanced search to show you a few other features. So there's our search term, it's waterfalls. Um, do we want to find it in everything or only in tags? Um, maybe you want to exclude things. So let's say you didn't want to see any pictures of Niagara Falls, you could put that in there. You get to pick what content type, so photos and videos. Do you want to include screenshots and screencasts or illustrations? Uh, you come down here, do you want to look at photos and videos, just photos, maybe only videos? You have the option of only looking at HD videos. For our purposes, I only want photos. You can also select a date range that the photo was taken in or when it was posted. Now, Creative Commons. We come down here and we can select that I only want a Creative Commons uh, license on these pictures. I don't need it for commercial purposes, but if you were going to use it on materials that you were going to sell or in some way make money off of, then you should probably be looking at commercial. I do want to cl click on this one uh, that says I can modify, adapt, or build upon in case I want to edit the picture in the future. And then search. And this gives me all different pictures to look at. And there's some really lovely ones here. Let's see what we have. This is a nice one by Sean McEntee. And you can see that it has 16,487 views, 24 people have favorited it. Over here, this is telling you about the license. So that little symbol there means that um, attribution. So you have to say, uh, give credit to the artist. And in this case, that's this fellow Sean McEntee. And it shows some rights reserved. We know that this symbol is for attribution, but we can also click on this page and it gives us this explanation right here where it says attribution. You have to give proper credit. So if I'm using this, say, in a blog, I would include a link back to the picture, but also uh, probably a link to Sean's site as well, Sean's main page on Flickr, and that would just be what this link is and that's part of giving credit. So I would say the picture was courtesy of Sean McEntee um, and it carries a Creative Commons license that requires attribution. So now that I found the picture, how do I actually make use of it? There's a couple of ways. I can click on the share this photo button and I can select sizes that I'd like. So let's say I'm using this for the web and I might click on 320 by 240 and I have a choice of getting the HTML code or the embed code or the BB code or even just a link to the picture. Let's say I want a link to it as part of text. So that's how you can get some code to put it onto a website. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that next step with embedding it onto a site because that's not part of this video. We're going to move on to how to download the picture. Let's say you just want to download it to use either online or offline. You can pick your size from this list or you can go to view all sizes, which is great because when you select the size that you're thinking of, it's going to show you the image in that actual size. So let's say I wanted this image and I select medium 640 by 480. I might want to use it smaller, which is fine because I can always make it smaller wherever else I'm working on it, whether it's on a website or I'm going to edit the picture before I use it in some print materials. 
But if I click on smaller and I want to use it larger, I'm going to lose some of that quality when I go to enlarge the picture. So it's better to get it larger than you need and make it smaller than having to worry about doing it the other way around. And that's it. That's how you find a picture um, on Flickr that has a Creative Commons license and how you can grab the code to embed it or link to it or download it.